हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैवेंट डन इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट द पोर्टेबल फ्लोर क्रेन इज इन द इन द ऑटोमोटिव शॉप इज लिफ्टिंग अ 420 पाउंड इंजन फॉर द पिस्टन फॉर द पोजीशन शोन कंप्यूट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द फोर्स सपोर्टेड बाय द पिन एट सी एंड द ऑयल प्रेशर पी अगेंस्ट 3.20 इंच डायमीटर पिस्टन of the hydraulic cylinder unit ab so we have to find the pressure exerted by this uh, piston inside uh, this assembly which has a dia of 3.2 inch diameter and then we have to find the magnitude of the force supported by the pin c so we have to find the reaction at pin c the resultant reaction at pin c so to solve this problem first of all we have to find the angle of the force which is applied by this piston arrangement at point b we have to find the angle of this force with the horizontal so first of all let me draw the free body diagram so let's say we have that bc line let's say this is my bc line and then let's say that i draw a vertical line let's say this is my vertical line and then point a is at a distance of 6 inches from this vertical line somewhere here is my point a this is my point c this is my point b and now if i join a with b so this is this ab line represents that uh, piston cylinder arrangement and this let's say that this point is a dash now c a dash length this c a dash length this is 30 inches this a a dash this is 60 inches and this is 18 inches this is given let me write that this is 18 inches this is 30 inches this is 6 inches and ab is not known now first of all i have to join e with c so if i join e with c we will have the geometry like this so first of all we can find that ac length now now our job is to find the the angle of this ab line with the horizontal we have to we, we are required to find this angle we are required to find this angle theta so for this we have to find this angle let's say this angle is alpha and is we can see that here this is given that this bc line is making 30 degree angle with the horizontal so if i draw a horizontal line here so here we have that 30 degree angle so if this is 30 degree angle so first of all let me find that ac length using this triangle this is a right angle triangle and we know this length and we know this length so we can find ac by using the pythagoras theorem so then we can say that ac square this will be equal to 30 square plus 6 square and if you want to find ac we have to take the square root so this is 30 square plus 6 square this gives us ac length which is equal to so ac is equal to 30.594 inches now we know ac now what about this angle we 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 can find this angle let's say this angle is beta so that beta angle can be found by applying tan beta so tan beta will be equal to perpendicular now this is our perpendicular this is our base so tan beta will be 6 divided by 30 and we can find beta by taking tan inverse so tan inverse 6 divided by 30 this gives us 11.309 so beta is equal to approximately 11.31 degrees so this is that beta now we know that that this angle is 90 this angle is 90 since this is horizontal and this is vertical line so this angle is 90 now this angle is this angle will be 90 minus beta so 90 minus beta let me find 90 minus beta which is 11.31 so 78.69 so so this angle is 78.69 this angle is 78.69 and now this whole angle will be 78.69 plus 30 so 78.69 plus 30 this gives us 108.69 so the angle between 
this BC line and this AC line this is 108.69 so now let me re represent that angle so this whole angle is 108.69 let me write it here this is 108.69 degrees now we can find that uh, a b length if you want to find this a b length to find this alpha we have to find this a b length by applying the law of cosines so by applying law of cosines we can write that uh, a b square that will be equal to a c square which is 30.549 this is ac which is 30.594 square plus this this ac square plus this bc square which is 18 so this is 18 square then minus 2 into 30.594 into 18 cause of the included angle which is 108.69 108.69 and if we take the square root we will be able to find the a b length so this will give us a b length so a b length when this bc line is making 30 degree with the horizontal this will be equal to 30.594 square plus 18 square minus 2 into 30.594 into 18 cause of 108.69 so this gives us a b length equals to 40.161 inches now we can find that alpha angle by applying the sine's law so by sine's law we can write it sine of alpha divided by the magnitude of the opposite side so the opposite side is bc which is 18 this is 18 that will be equal to sine of that 108.69 and the magnitude or the length of the opposite side which is AB and AB is 40.161 40 so from this we can write that alpha is equal to sine inverse 18 sine of 108.69 divided by 40.161 So this gives us that angle alpha equals to 25.122 degrees. Let's say if we know this angle alpha and we want to find this angle theta, we have to find this angle. So this beta angle is known, this is 90, so we can find this angle, this angle will be this angle will be 180 since the summation of the angles of a triangle is 180 so this angle will be 180 minus beta minus 90 degrees so let's say this angle is gamma so gamma is equal to 180 minus beta beta is 11.31 from here this is beta 11.31 minus 90 so 180 minus 11.31 minus 90 this gives us 78.69 so gamma angle is 78.69 degrees now we have to find this angle theta so we know that the summation of gamma plus alpha plus theta this will be 180 so we can write that gamma plus alpha plus theta this is equal to 180 and from this we can write that a theta is equal to 180 minus alpha minus gamma which is equal to 180 minus alpha this is alpha which is 25.122 minus gamma gamma is 78.69 this is 78.69 so this will give us that theta which is 180 minus 25.122 minus 78.69 this gives us 76.188 degrees so the force which is applied by this ab arm is making 70 uh, 76.188 degrees with the horizontal so now if i show if i represent that angle here so we will have that angle here this is that angle theta and this is that force f which is applied by this piston cylinder arrangement at point a 
so now we can resolve let's say this is force f so we can resolve this force f into its components so it will have one component in this direction this will be fx and this will be f of y so now if we apply the summation of the moment about uh, point c equals to zero so that will give us the magnitude of this force f so the summation of the moment about point c that is equal to zero since the system is in equilibrium and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so as we can see that this weight is this weight is 420 pounds so it is going to produce the uh, clockwise moment about that point c and its perpendicular distance from that point c is this distance which is the cos component of this length if we consider this triangle so then this will be the perpendicular distance and this will be 18 plus 42 cos of 30 so we can write that 420 that is 4 420 is producing the clockwise moments so we will write minus 420 and then 18 plus 42 cos of 30 degrees and now the f of x component is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus plus f of x and f of x is f cos of theta so f cos of theta theta is known which is 76.188 and the perpendicular distance of this f of x from that point c is this 30 inch distance so i will multiply it with 30 and similarly this f of y is reducing the counterclockwise moment as well so we will write plus this is plus and f of y is f sine of theta which is 76.188 and the perpendicular distance of this f of y from that point c is this 6 inch distance so we will multiply this with 6 and this is equal to 0 so this is um, uh, 420 into 18 plus 42 cos of 30 this gives us 21823 this is minus 21823.5 eight four zero plus this is 30 cos of 30 cos of 76.188 this gives us 7.162 f and then that is uh, 6 sine of so 6 sine of 76.188 5.8 to 7 f and this is equal to 0 now we can add both of these this is uh, 7.162 plus 5.827 this gives us 12.989 this is plus 12.989 f and this is minus 21823.840 and this will be equal to 0 so now if I bring uh, this constant to the other side of the equation, so we will have f, f is equal to 21823.840 divided by 12.989. This is 21823.840 divided by 12.989. This gives us force equals to 1680 approximately this is pounds so now we want to find the pressure applied by this uh, piston arrangement uh, from a to b so that will be pressure is equal to force divided by area and now the area is pi r square since it's the circular area so the diameter is given which is 3.20 inches so now we can write that force is 1680 and this is pi d squared divided by 4 or we can write that this is 1680 dia is is 3.20 this is 3.20 square divided by 4 
so 1680 divided by pi multiplied by 3.20 square divided by 4 this gives us pressure equals to 209 pound, pound per inch square approximately so this is the pressure applied by that piston and now we want to find the reactions the resultant reaction at point c so let me copy this so now we know this theta which is um, we have determined this theta which is 76.188 this theta is 76.188 degrees and now at c we will have the support reaction let's say this is cx and let's say this is cy so to find cx and cy we have to apply the summation of forces along x this will be equal to zero this is our positive direction so cx is in the positive direction so we will write cx plus f of x f of x is acting in the positive x which is f cause of that angle theta now f is known which is 1680 cause of 76.188 and there is no other component in the horizontal direction so this will be equal to zero and from this we can write that this is 1680 minus 1680 cause of 76.188 degrees so this is so this is 401 minus 401 pounds approximately so cx is acting in the opposite direction the assumed direction is not accurate cx is acting towards the left so that is why we got this minus sign similarly if we apply the uh, summation of forces along the y direction that is in the vert vertical direction this is our positive direction so again this cy this is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus cy and then the f of y component is acting in the positive y direction as well so we will write plus f is 1680 f of y is 1680 sine of 76.188 and the weight is acting in the negative direction so which is minus 420 and this is equal to zero and from this we can write that cy is 420 minus 1680 sine of 76.188 So this gives us minus 1211.42 pounds or approximately we can say that this is minus 1211 pounds. So the negative sign tells us that CY is also acting in the opposite direction that is it is acting in the downward direction. So now the, the since in the problem statement you said that find the resultant reaction at point C. So the resultant reaction at point C will be equal to Cx square plus Cy square under the square root. So we can find that Cx magnitude is 401 square, Cy magnitude is 1211 square. So this gives us 1275.66, so it is approximately 1276. So C, 1276 pounds. So the resultant reaction at the pin joint at C is 1276 pounds and the pressure applied by the piston arrangement at from a to b is 209 pounds per inch square and the force is 1680 pounds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems